Okay, today we're going to talk about the normal distribution. We're going to do an example here. And we have babies that weigh N7.6 pounds, 1.3 pounds. This here means it's a normal distribution. That's what the N means. This is my mean, mu, and my standard deviation, sigma. All right, so I want to sketch a model of the normal curve. Well, if this is true, I know this is 7.6. This is 1.3 more. So this distance is 1.3, so I get 8.9, and I get 10.2, and 11.5, if I can add and subtract correctly. This is 6.3, uh, 5, and then that one's going to be 3.7 over here off the screen already. And then we're going to have 68 one standard deviation, plus or minus, 68 percent. 95 are two standard deviations, and then 99.7 is on the far end. Okay, so I want to estimate the percentage of babies that weigh above 8.9 pounds. So here's my 8.9 pounds. I'm looking for this area here. Well, I know this is 68. From here to here is 68. So the tails are 100 minus 68, which is 32. By symmetry, they're equal. So I know that the probability of my weight, x being bigger than 8.9, is approximately 32 divided by 2 is 16%. That's my estimate based upon the sketch. So now we want to know what's the z-score of a baby that weighs 6 pounds. Well, B says z is equal to mu minus, sorry, z is equal to x minus mu over the standard deviation, which in this case x is 6. This 6 here is minus mu is 7.6 over 1.3. Do that quickly in my calculator here. 1.6 divide 1.3. And so this value is equal to 1.231 is my z-score. That's B. Looking now at C part, it says what proportion of the babies weigh less than 5 pounds? Well, as you know, I'm a big believer in drawing sketches. So, five pounds, I know, is roughly here. Well, not roughly, it is here. I'm going to find that value here. I can get a pretty good estimate just upon the symmetry. Two standard deviations away. So I know, then, the probability that x is less than five. Two standard deviations away. We mean it's 95% divided by 2 is 2.5% are going to be my tails. D says the proportion of 7 pounds, more than 7 pounds. Well, from my sketch, let's clean this up a bit. From my sketch, I know 7 pounds falls roughly here. And I want being more than 7 pounds. I'm looking for that area. So the probability that my baby is bigger than 7 pounds, well, I'm going to calculate my z-score, which is 7 minus the mean is 7.6 over 1.3, which will be 0.6 divide 1.3 which is 0.4615. So the probability of being bigger than 7 is also the same as the probability of z being bigger than 0.4615. And if I go to my calculator, I can go now second distributions, normal CDF, and I'm going to put my left hand bound first, which is going to be 0.4615, comma, off to infinity, a big number, so throw a bunch of nines down there, 
and I get a probability of 0.322. So the proportion of babies weighing more than 7 pounds is 30... Oh, I have to back up. I made a mistake. Let's look back here. This calculation here is negative 0.4615. So this is negative. So let me make sure that I can do this better. Let me call this back. And let's insert my negative. And there's the value we're actually looking for. We're looking for 0.6. 8 is my proportion. All right, let's try not to do that again. I'm going to E part. We're looking for proportions maybe between 7.2, 8.4. Looking at my sketch, that's roughly here to here. And I'm looking for this area in between here. And so the probability is of 7.2 less than x less than 8.4. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to find my z scores for both of these. So, my first z will be 7.2 minus the 7.6 over 1.3, which will be negative 0.4 divided by 1.3, and I get equal to negative 0 0.3077. And this I'm going to keep to more than three significant figures because when we do the final calculation I want that to be completely accurate. The other z is going to be 8.4 minus 7.6 over 1.3 and that's going to be 8.4 minus 7.6 divide the 1.3 that is equal to 0.6154 so this probability between 7.2 and 8.4 for x is the same for negative 0 0.3077 for z to 0.6154 and using my normal CDF now I go normal CDF to I'm going to go from negative 0.3077 to 0.6154. And this is equal to 0.351. There's my probability for E. Last question, F. A baby born January 31st 2012 in Iowa at 13.8 pounds. Is this an unusual occurrence? Well, if it is more than three standard deviations away, you can definitely say it is an unusual occurrence. So let's find out where this actually this actual baby lies. To do that, I'm going to find my z-score, which is 13.8 minus 7.6 over 1.3 and so I can say 13.8 minus 7.6 divide by 1.3 this baby is 4.76 standard deviations away from the mean is this an unusual occurrence? most definitely this baby is huge he is like the Incredible Hulk compared to other babies. And there you go for normal probability.